Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Kodak. This is the Kodak Classic 10-inch Wi-Fi digital picture frame. Uh, this means that you can use an app from your phone or tablet and upload pictures to this picture frame via Wi-Fi. Uh, it also plays back short videos, uh, updates you on your weather, your time, and your calendar, and it's touchscreen enabled. We're going to dig into it now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that you get. Once you get it out of the box, uh, you're going to see that you do get the photo frame here. It's a 10-inch IPS display at 1200 by 800. Uh, you do get some nice wood grain here, and it's actual wood as well. Now, you're going to get a user guide for this. I suggest you hold on to it just in case you need to reference this. It's going to show you everything that you should get with this. It's going to kind of take you through the setup, which we're going to do today as well, uh, and uh, other things that you may need to reference later. Now, this is the stand here. It's a plastic stand uh, that will go and screw into the back. Uh, and this means that you can lock this into place for either portrait or landscape uh, on the back of the device, depending on how you want to, to uh, show off your photos. You've got your uh, power adapter here. It's a two-prong, two-barrel power adapter. You have an older uh, USB Type-A to a mini USB, which you don't see often anymore. Uh, but this can be used to connect the photo frame directly to a PC, a laptop, a Mac, or anything like that to pull files off of or put files onto if you don't want to do it via Wi-Fi. Now looking at the frame itself, again, we've got some really nice actual wood around here. 10 inch, uh, tw tw uh, 1200 by 800 uh, IPS display. Uh, and I really do like that there's real wood uh, on the frame itself. If we look at the bottom here, we've got some venting. We've got two speakers. Uh, so this does support uh, music as well. So you can load music on here. You've got mounting holes if you want to put this on the wall in either portrait or landscape. Uh, you got your power button there as well. Uh, so you can do this in two different orientations. It's got a little gyro in it so that it knows which way to display. Uh, and then on the side, we're going to have our inputs here. You have a full SD card slot here uh, for uh, loading up more storage. Uh, you do have a 3.5 millimeter audio out uh, for a headphone or uh, external speakers. You do have a full USB type A for USB drives. You've got that USB port there that you can use to hook in that cable to your PC. And then you have your DC in for power. Now, as far as the uh, stand goes here, a plastic stand, if you're going to use this on a desktop, pretty easy uh, to line this up. You can see that there's little grooves there, so you can either uh, mount this uh, setup for uh, landscape or portrait. We're going to do this in landscape, and you're just going to screw this in and uh, tighten it down, and you'll be good to go. So that's uh, pretty much the unboxing and setup of this. Uh, we're going to boot it up and continue on. Okay, when you first boot it up, this is what you're going to get, your language selection. It is a touch screen, full touch screen here. You can see you've got several different languages to choose from. Of course, I'm going to continue with English. Uh, this is built on a version of Android operating system. Uh, so you're going to see some familiarities if you have an Android phone or tablet. Uh, you can see that you've got your time uh, there. I'm in Eastern, so I'm going to select that. Then it works on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, not 5 gigahertz. Mine's at the top there. So I'm going to select mine. It's going to ask me for my password, which I'm going to put in on this keyboard here. And you can see it even has the Google logo at the top of the keyboard. So we're going to do that now. Once you have your Wi-Fi password in there, it is now connecting and should connect fairly quickly. Uh, and you will now be on the Wi-Fi network and be able to use the app to send photos from anywhere in the world to your device. We're going to show you how to check that out now. Uh, now, once you have this set up, this is going to be your main screen here. It's going to show you some pictures at the top. You do have so a, a few extras that I'd like to go over here in just a few moments. And some of those extras are uh, the weather, uh, your calendar, 
which we kind of want to look at here. Uh, something that I haven't really seen too much of uh, on other displays like this, but you can see at the top you get your weather, uh, you get your time, uh, things like that, your uh, Wi-Fi connection, make sure that that's enabled. Uh, and you can change the time back uh, to either 24 hour or uh, 12 hour in settings. Uh, but if we go to weather, this is an interesting one. It brings up an entire weather uh, animated weather pane here showing you uh, your current weather, um, where you're located, what the date is, uh, what your outlook is, uh, that type of thing. So you can also search for weather in other places uh, by zip code as well. You also have a built-in calendar here, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, this will allow you to uh, check the date uh, and things that may be coming up uh, on your calendar uh, and you can go back you can assign the left pane either a picture or this one which I like is a clock and also your date time and day uh, of the week so that's a pretty cool extra as well Okay, so we're going to move on over to settings here and check a few different things in settings. Now, this is a QR code that you're going to get in a nine-digit uh, code uh, that is going to allow you to connect the app to uh, the frame itself. So what we're going to do is open up our phone. We're going to use the Kodo Classic Frame app. Uh, you're going to create an account and log into it. And you can see I don't have a frame bound to mine, so I'm going to add photo frame here and you can either scan QR code or add that nine digit uh, device code there. We're going to do the QR code and I'm going to let it allow to take pictures. We're just going to scan the QR code real quick. So now it's asking me to uh, name my device. Uh, so I'm going to name my frame home. I think that's the easiest thing to do here at the moment and uh, I'm going to click OK. And now I am set up. So there is my uh, photo frame uh, and I'm good to go. So I am ready to go. You can see that if we continue in settings, we've got our Wi-Fi settings, which we've already set up. Um, we've got our language screensaver, uh, how long it takes to go into that, play animation, uh, auto sleep, uh, brightness and volume. Right now, both that are at 80%. Uh, you've got alarms built into this. So if you put this on your bedside table, you can actually set alarms. You do have your time, of course, where you can go in and change this from a 24-hour clock to a 12-hour clock, so depending on what you uh, prefer. Pictures, uh, again, sending pictures by email, you can send to this mailbox, and it will actually upload those pictures to the photo frame via email. Now, you do have 16 uh, gigs of built-in storage and 10 gigs of cloud storage with this as well. And if we go to About, this is where you can check for updates uh, if there are any for your photo frame, or you can factory reset as well. Now, uploading photos is uh, super simple. You just have to uh, click on Upload, and it's going to give you some options here, either directly from your camera, photo, video, or music. Of course, you can upload MP3s or up to 15 seconds of video, uh, photos, of course, from your gallery, and camera. If I want to just snap a picture of something, I can snap that and automatically send that to uh, my photo frame, which is really great. So uh, uploading here, photos, we're going to go into camera, and we are just going to pick a few different photos here, long pressing, uh, picking these. We're gonna pick about six photos. And we're gonna upload these directly to the frame. So it's gonna upload these. It takes a few seconds to upload everything. Uh, and you can do this from anywhere. So if you're on vacation and you wanna uh, upload your pictures to your photo frame, you can easily do that uh, with the application, no problems whatsoever. So now the photos have been uploaded and we're good to go. Uh, and it tells me which ones I uploaded in the app. Uh, now we can uh, click on this. We can go back uh, to uh, the setup here and we can go into our album. And there are new things in our album, as you can see here. Now there are some that are in local import that are uh, built in. Uh, that come with the frame. So we've got these built in already and there's a few of them here. Uh, you've got some kind of Christmas type ones and some other ones as well. You've got, uh, you can shuffle them, you can slide through these if you want to. So you can see no problems here. Great picture, good IPS display. Overall it works out really, really well uh, and looks really, really good. Uh, so we've got six new ones here and they're going to be under user upload from Luke as uh, I just 
uploaded these so we can click on those and you can see here that we've got our uh, photos right here now we can do other things like crop these we can rotate them we can play all uh, we can get some information we have a few more settings as well for play intervals uh, you can go from five seconds to like 24 hours uh, before they flip over uh, so you've got a uh, kind of uh, that flexibility uh, to change your slideshow to however you would like. Uh, so we can uh, do a few other things in here as well, uh, which is uh, your tab displays, uh, your uh, animations in between, your calendar displays. Uh, you've got all of that right here. And of course, if I just want to swipe through, I can easily swipe through. Now you can see that there's some blurriness on the outsides here. And what it does is it tries to um, uh, zoom in to capture the correct thing. And you can adjust this as well uh, in settings so you don't have any of that like you just saw in the last picture there. Uh, so overall, just a really nice uh, IPS display at 1200 by 800. Great for storing your pictures, sending them from anywhere in the world, and overall just very nice and quality here. Okay, so that's my review of the Kodak Classic 10-inch Wi-Fi digital picture frame. This is a, a great IPS display with good viewing angles and great colors. It's Wi-Fi enabled, of course, so you can send pictures to it from anywhere in the world with the app. And it also has that email capability, so you can just email pictures to that email address and they will appear on your frame as well. Now, there's a couple extras in here, like uh, weather and a calendar which I kind of enjoy. Uh, it has the ability to play music as well, so you can upload MP3 files, and overall is just a really nice picture frame. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.